Exactly one year ago, I was listening to and honouring the dead. Glorious dead. I, I was staring at those words of the senator and I was listening to the song by the Grateful Dead on my headphones. And then I drove back up here. And the cenotaph was the last thing I saw in the city. I came out here later that night. I was thinking about how much I prefer plants and grass to human beings. I was wearing this outfit and eating some crisps. And all of a sudden, I saw something above me that had not been there just a moment before. The shape was like an octagon, except it wasn't quite. And I'm just staring at it and slowly munching this salt and vinegar crisp. And then I heard it, I felt this rhythm, kind of a ticking and ticking, faster than a clock. I heard it in my ears, I felt it in my body. And then, without so much the lightest of touches, I suddenly was inside that almost octagonal craft in the sky. And the first thing I saw was what looked like an antique doll's house made entirely out of what appeared to be glass. And suddenly these creatures surrounded me, unquestionably not human. Uh, now, I, I spent my entire time at Oxford in the Department of Engineering Science. I'm very skeptical. I don't know all about propulsion, about the, the known laws of physics. It was not possible. And yet, there I was. I was no longer holding the bag of crisps in my hand. And the aliens, they had no questions there. They attempted no language. I, I felt curiously like I was being inspected like some sort of uh, barnyard animal. But, but they didn't appear to harm me in any way. And time became unclear. I was about to ask them. Well, the, <laughs> this seems silly, but, but, but the first question I was going to ask was, where did you get that beautiful doll's house? Because it, it was the most unique thing I've ever seen or seen through. And I was transfixed by it, and I wanted one. And just as the first words were about to matter from my mouth, I, I heard and felt that speedy tick-tock rhythm again, and then I was back here on, on this path, and the sky was clear, and there was uh, no visible objects anywhere nearby, no plane, no bird, no, no uh, nearly octagonal UFO. And I, I looked down to my side, and there was the bag of crisps in the grass. So I, uh, I picked it up and I, I ate another crisp. The next day, I lost my sense of taste and of smell. And I thought, oh, that's because of my encounter with those aliens. But it turned out I had COVID. And, and I was quite lucky. I, I mean, it wasn't much fun. I was in bed for a couple of days feeling sorry for myself, but it was pretty mild comparatively. Uh, my sense of taste and smell both both returned. I, I, I must have caught it back in the city. This was before anybody was even wearing masks. And after I had realized what it was and, and learned about it and uh, stopped being mad at the aliens for giving me the coronavirus, the thought came to me, did I give it to the aliens? Did I give the aliens COVID? Like, what if I inadvertently gave this virus to those aliens, they took it away with them, and, and then what if it decimated their whole alien species, you know? I, I felt terribly guilty. So I, I kept coming back to this spot in the hope that they would return and, and, and let me know that they had survived their encounter with me. And maybe I can glimpse that beautiful, transparent, glassy alien doll's house again. But if I did destroy them by accident, 
suppose I'm returning to honour the glorious dead. To honour the glorious alien dead. I think it's also worth noting that I had smoked a gargantuan joint that night exactly one year ago, which is why I grabbed a snack before I came outside to look up at the sky and, and be one with nature. But I know what I saw. Yeah.